Hey everyone, this is Eric Seaman, general news reporter with the Wabash Plain Dealer bringing you Mars headlines. What this is, is a little sneak peek in what you can be reading in Wednesday's Plain Dealer. Our lead story is written by our managing editor, Joe Slation. Um, retiring Manchester University President Joe Young Switzer um, will be the keynote speaker at the university's baccalaureate and commencement ceremonies on Sunday. 262 students will be receiving their bachelor's degrees and six will be getting their uh, master's degrees. Our centerpiece story is written by yours truly. Um, W.C. Mills Elementary School, which will be closing at the end of the school year, is having a public open house um, to give students and, and former students a chance to tour the building one last time. Um, on, and that, uh, that open house will be on Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. Refreshments will be made available. Um, our next story is written by Joe. Um, Four-way stops um, will, are now a thing of the past for Wabash thanks to a wording change in a local ordinance. Um, they'll now be referred to as always stops in, compl in compliance with federal standards. Uh, our next story is written by my co-reporter, Nick Van Heest. Um, rumor has it that the Swifty gas station is closing down in Wabash. Um, an employee who doesn't want to be named said it is closing Monday. Um, however, we are still awaiting word um, from the company's spokesman. And then our final front page story is from Scott Cousins over at the Frankfurt Times. Um, it's a Q&A with a superintendent of public, instruction, of public instruction, Glenda Ritz, about the state of education in Indiana. And switching over to the North Manchester page, uh, the main, main uh, Manchester Main Street officials um, have reported a successful 2013, including town improvement projects, festivals, and a larger member base. Um, also, I have a story on a fundraiser plan to help Sarah Morbitzer, who is planning a mission trip to Jamaica. Um, and then Nick also wrote a story on town council. Uh, a lot of little things, including um, Arbor, the Arbor Day celebration, and talks on a long-term plan to replace John Muckford, who recently um, passed away. Um, he also um, oversaw much of um, North Manchester's utilities. Switching over to sports, um, our sports editor, Justin Shockey, um, wrote a recap of the Southwood baseball team's 12-1 victory over Wabash on Monday, and with that, more baseball, including Northfield's uh, victory over Whitco and the Manchester baseball team's loss to Tippecanoe Valley. Um, and we have a re also have a recap of the Southwood softball team's 12-2 victory over Wabash on Monday, um, and a recap of Manchester softball's victory over Tippecanoe Valley and Northfield over, uh, I'm sorry, and Northfield uh, softball team's loss to Whitco. And then rounding up with tennis, a recap of Manchester's uh, victory over Tippecanoe Valley and Southwood's victory over Rochester. That's all for today. Check out more about these stories. You can pick up your Wednesday Plain Dealer or you can go to you can go online to www.wabashplaindealer.com. Until next time, you stay classy, Wabash County.